Hi, I'm Jay, and I'm going to show you ways to make pictures. Take a look at these things. I've got lots of bits and pieces, and some fantastic shades of blue paint. I'm going to print with them. Now, first, I'm going to use a yoghurt pot. Let's dip that in. And print. One. <gasps> wow. Two. Three. That's really nice. Now we can also use this end of the yoghurt pot as well. Let's dip it in and print. One, two, three. Let's put some more paint on. Four, five, six. Hmm, very good. Now, I've also got a cotton reel here. What I can do is dip this in the paint. Ooh, look at that. And print with this too. Make double marks on that. In fact, I can dip it in again into some lighter paint. Put it on this. They look a little bit like wheels, don't they? Now also with this, we can turn it round and roll it in some paint. This gets nice and mucky, but I think it would give a really good mark. Look. It looks like these wheels are on a train track. That'd be a good picture, wouldn't it? Hmm. Now we've got a sponge here as well. And the good thing about this is we can just dip it straight in, pick up lots of paint, and again, print that. Let's print two over here and a little one up there. But we can also print with this bit here as well. Let's see what that makes. Oh look, that's all very good isn't it? Now what are we left with here? We've got a cork. Let's see what we can do with this. Very easy for making round shapes. That's nice. And we've got some pasta. Now, if I roll this in the paint, I wonder what sort of mark this makes. Look at that. It looks like the tracks the train's on. Really good. Now, last of all, I've got this really interesting scourer here from the kitchen. I'm just going to put it in loads of paint and print with it. Look at that. It looks like smoke coming out of it. Hmm. What do you think? Why don't you try collecting some objects and printing with them? Today, we've been decorating pasta. Have a look at what we've done in Smartini's gallery. Here's how we made them. Right, the first thing we need to do is paint the pasta. We've got these pasta tubes here. I'll show you. It's a bit messy, but this is the cleanest way of doing it got these lovely bright colours here. Now hold the two ends like that, okay? And then look, you can paint all over the pasta tube. You'll get a bit on your hands, but it doesn't matter. We want to leave that to dry, but we can't just hold it like that. So I've put a straw into some plasticine and just watch, thread it through. Okay? And now we can leave it on the straw to dry. We'll get another one. I've got a bit of blue on my hands, but it doesn't matter. So I'm going to use red next. Oh, red. Paint that one. That see if you, can you see? No, Look at that. And this paint goes on the pasta really nice. And then, oh, thread it on. Oh. Ah, what colour shall I do next? Blue. 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 Um, red. Red. All right then. 
can make lots and lots of different patterns with your pasta or look what I've got here. I've tied them all onto a piece of string and these are painted all different colours. That looks like a necklace. That's right, you can make a little necklace or a bracelet or something like that. Oh. It's tricky bit, isn't it? Threading it under the straw. What do you think you're going to make with your pasta when you've painted it all? Necklace. A necklace, fantastic. Five, one, two, three, four, five, six. Six? It's dripping. But doesn't it look nice? Can you see the pattern it's making? What's your favourite colour, Rihanna? Orange. Orange. I think I can tell that because you've got lots of orange ones, haven't you? Orange and red. I need to wash my hands. Here are our decorations! When all the pieces of pasta were dry, we threaded them onto some colourful string to make all these beautiful necklaces and bracelets. You try decorating pasta. What time is it now? Tidy up time! It certainly is. Bye bye! here and this is Pattern Palace. Here are my patterns. I like patterns, I like looking at them and I like making them. These patterns are all made with different types of food. Look at the strips of colour on this pattern. But if you look closely, the orange is actually made from lentils. This greeny colour is from uncooked peas and this dark red colour is from kidney beans. And look at this pattern green shiny green wrapped chocolate eggs there and then white mints in a row and then lots of different colored sweets making up the rest of the pattern it's a multi-colored sweet pattern i like that and i'm going to make a pattern of my own using some food i've got the nice orange lentils here they're very fine and then the lovely red kidney beans and this pasta on the end makes a nice pattern all by itself and I'm going to put all of my food into this clear plastic container here so let's start with the lentils try not to spill too many right, level that out there's a nice layer of lentils and then a layer of kidney beans. Now for the pasta. Lovely, but I think I'll put some more kidney beans in now. All the colours working well together. Finish off with that pasta. Lots of different coloured stripes. Try to find food with lots of different colours and if I put the lid on, this will stay fresh for when I want to eat it. Now, what else can I do? Let's try again, this time using my cereal. I'll start off with these chocolatey coloured cereal. There we go. And now what about these honey loops? Nice layer of them. Some chocolate crispies. Do a big, big layer of them. And some more of these to finish off. Look at that. That's a really lovely pattern. The only thing is, when I want to eat my cereal, I'm going to have to eat it all jumbled up. But I actually think that'll taste really delicious. I'm going to put the lid on to keep it all nice in there. Why don't you have a try? Fruit! Mmm, fruit.
fruit. Let's make our own fruit. Let's start with a green apple. We need some green paper, fold it in half, and then tear. <laughs> ah, look, one yummy apple. And how about some delicious bananas? Two bananas, there. <laughs> one, two, <laughs> great. Ooh, big picture! <laughs> More picture. Right, let's make some rather delicious oranges. Same thing again. Orange paper, and you fold it in half, like that. Tear. Whoa, look at this. And here we go. Ready? Ta -da! One big orange. And how about some juicy grapes? Let's have a look. Ah. This scrap bit of paper looks like a bunch of grapes. Yo, oh, big picture! Oh, here we go, right. Picture. Right. Oh. Where were we? Ah, oh, grapes. Fruit bowl. Yes. Bit of scrap paper. That says it to me. That says fruit bowl. Now, let's take that over there. I put that over there. Put those down. Ah. Mmm. Delicious. Bowl of fruit, finished. Oh no, I haven't. Oh, crack it. Finished. Small picture. Big picture.